Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm doing exercise 9.5, eighth question. I have done all the previous question in my previous video, and you'll get few links in my description. And otherwise, you can just go to my channel and you'll get it. So here's a question: Using x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. Find so we have given four questions here. This is actually identity x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b is an identity. We're going to use this identity and solve it. Okay, so for the first one, it's one hundred and three multiplied by one hundred and four. Now we cannot directly apply this identity. We can write one hundred and three has one hundred plus three multiplied by one hundred plus four. Now you can see that x value is same. Make sure that this hundred or whatever number we are getting, it should be same because here the x should be same, and a and b value can be different. So x value will be hundred and a value will be three and b value will be four. Now we will substitute this in the identity. We'll get hundred square plus three plus four into x. X value is hundred plus three into four. Now this is equal to we'll get ten thousand plus seven three plus four is three plus four is seven and seven into hundred is seven hundred plus three plus four is twelve. Now we'll add all this number that is ten thousand plus seven hundred plus twelve will be equal to ten thousand seven hundred twelve. Okay, this is the value for the first question. Now we'll move on to the second one. So second question is five point one multiplied by five point two. So we can write this as five plus zero point one. Make sure the x value should be same, and then five plus zero point two. So here, x value is five. And a value is zero point one, and b value is zero point two. So using the identity, we'll get five square plus zero point one plus zero point two multiplied by five plus zero point one multiplied by zero point two. Now five square is twenty five plus. Now we'll add up zero point one and zero point two. We'll get zero point three. So zero point three into five plus. Now we'll multiply point one and point two. We'll get answer zero point zero two. Now this is equal to twenty five plus. When you multiply zero point three and five, we'll get one point five plus zero point zero two. Now we're gonna add all these values here. That is twenty five and 1.5 and 0.02 will get answer 26.52 so this was a second question now we'll go to the third one so the third question is 103 multiplied by 98 so 103 can be written as 100 plus 3 And ninety-eight can be written as hundred minus two. Okay, now this is interesting here. So here the x value will be hundred, and a value will be three, and b value will be minus two. Uh, just observe here in the question we have that is in the identity they have given plus b, but here we have a minus two. So we can take b value as minus two here. Or you can just write it as hundred plus. Just write this once again. So this is hundred plus, and then you can take minus two. So we can take b value as a minus two here. Now we'll substitute the values. So this is equal to hundred square plus three plus minus two into hundred plus three into minus two. Now, hundred square is ten thousand plus. Now, three in three minus two is one, and one into hundred is hundred 
then 3 into 2 is minus 6 so this is equal to when you add them and subtract with minus 6 we'll get 10,094 so this is the answer for this problem now the last problem we're going to do so the last one is in decimal again it's 9.7 multiplied by 9.8 so you can take this value as uh, 9 plus 0 0.7 into 9 plus 0 0.8 now x value will be 9 so x value is 9 a value is 0 0.7 and b value will be 0 0.8 so from here it's a 9 square plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.8 into x which is again 9 plus now multiply 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 so 9 square will be 81 plus now we'll add 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 so 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 when you add up it give 1.5 and then we have a multiplied by 9 so we'll multiply here itself so which will be equal to 13.5 plus when you multiply 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 we'll get 0 0.56 now we'll add up all the values here so we'll get here 95.06 so that's it this is the answer for this problem we have done all the four problems i hope you have understood this if you have any question or doubt you can leave a comment below and that's it thank you so much for watching this If you like this video then subscribe and click on bell icon.